Welcome, in front of me I have Huawei Band 9 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this smart band with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our smart band and you can do it by pressing and holding the side button on it. Once you see the Huawei logo on the screen you can release the button and wait until the smart band turns on. And after the band turns on, you may see the list of languages on the screen. Once you see it, you can scroll off, uh, through it by swiping on the screen, uh, find the language you would like to use on your smart band, uh, tap on it to select it, and after you select the language, as you can see, we need to download and install the Huawei Health application uh, to pair the devices together. So go to your phone, and on the Android, and this step is a bit uh, complicated because we need to first download the app gallery and then through the app gallery we need to install the Huawei Health because the uh, Huawei Health on the Google uh, Play Store is, I believe, outdated and sometimes uh, you won't be able to uh, pair your device with your phone. So, uh, to download the app gallery we need to uh, open the web browser. I'm gonna open Google Chrome but you can use any browser you want in the web browser you will need to enter this uh, address, which is uh, basically appgallery.huawei.com. And once you enter the appgallery.huawei.com and press enter, it will redirect you to this page. And on this page, you will see this uh, button in the top left uh, corner. This is the download button for the app gallery. Tap on it, tap on install app gallery, and it will start downloading. As you can see, we have a pop-up. And after it's uh, done downloading, uh, you will need to tap on the open. Or basically go to the downloads and tap on it to open the file. I have a pop-up that it's downloaded and we can tap on open. But if you don't have the pop-up, tap on the menu, tap on downloads. And you should see your download, downloaded file right here. And you can tap on it to open it. And if you see this pop-up about the permissions, you need to tap on settings. You need to... Uh, switch the allow from the source, so tap on the switch, then tap on install, and the app gallery start, will start installing. And after it's done, you can open it. So let's tap on open to open the app gallery. Then tap next, agree, allow or deny the permission. Here let's tap on OK. And here we have the app, Huawei App Gallery. Now, tap on search. Oh, we have the update, but I'm gonna tap on later for now. Tap on search and type in uh, Huawei Health. And tap on search. And you should see the Huawei Health application right here on the list. Tap on the install button next to it. If you see the pop-up, tap on settings. Allow the installation from this source then go back to the app tap on install again and let's wait until it's done uh, downloading and installing if you see this pop-up tap on install and finally once it's done installing you will see the open button and you can tap on it to open the huawei health application once you open it, you may be required to select uh, the region, basically the service region. To do it, tap right here and scroll through the list, find the region you would like to use. And once you find it, uh, tap on it to select it. I'm going to select uh, United Kingdom. Then tap on Next. Next. Agree. Allow or deny the permission. I'm going to allow it. And now you should see the health page of the application. Once you see it, tap on the devices icon. No, oh, there's an ad here. Okay, we need to close it. And now we can tap on devices icon. Then tap on add device. And uh, we need to allow the permission for the location. And the app will start scanning for the nearby devices. And after a couple of seconds, it should detect your uh, smart pen. Once it does, you can tap on connect and probably you will need to log in into a Huawei ID account. So we need to enter the email and the address. So give me a couple of seconds. Mm, 
Okay, I also had to enter the code from the email address, so that's why it took so long. But once you log in, it will probably reset the app. Basically, it will reopen the app like this. And once you see the health page, tap on devices again, tap on add device. And wait until it detects your smart band. And once it detects your smart band, oh, for some reason it didn't. I'm gonna wake up the screen on the smart band and tap on scan again. Other uh, cancel, let's go back. And try again. If it won't work, we can always scan the QR code. If you want to use the QR code, you can tap on the use QR code here and basically you can scan it. But as you can see, it worked. Uh, so we can tap on connect. Allow the permissions. Hmm. Something went wrong. As you can see, it tells us to either re reset the band uh, to the factory default or uh, turn off our Bluetooth settings on our phone and turn it back on. Not or, I mean, not settings, but uh, the Bluetooth itself, the feature. Let's tap on retry. I on connect. Okay, this time it worked, so we can tap on the check mark. Here we need to agree to the terms of use, tap on next. And right here we can also enable the auto download for the updates packages through the Wi-Fi and auto install the updates uh, when the device is not in use. So you can check these boxes if you want to do it. And then you can tap on continue. Here you can enable the auto updates if you want to. I'm gonna tap on install updates manually. Here tap on done, continue. And right here we can enable the notifications for our smart band. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your band. And if you want to enable this feature, you need to tap on enable. It will redirect you to the, uh, the device and app notifications. And here you need to find the Huawei Health application on the list, tap on it. Tap on the switch next to allow notification access and uh, tap on allow. Also, as you can see, we're being spammed with this uh, pop up right here about pair and connect. If you see it uh, during the pairing process, tap on pair and connect to pair it uh, with your uh, phone. Come on. Okay, and now it should be gone. And uh, this will make a um, some functions work with your smart band. Okay, and then we can go back. Once you allow the notification access, and the notifications will be enabled. And here you can also enable and disable notifications for specific applications like WhatsApp, Discord, and stuff like that. And once you've done uh, customizing th this to your liking, you can tap on done. Okay. Allow or deny the permission. If you want the notifications to work, I recommend to allow the permissions because they're, they are required for the notifications. Okay, tap on the OK. And once you're done with the uh, notifications and the permissions, you will see the uh, device page for your Huawei Band 9. And if you wake up the screen on your band, you will see that you're, you're ready to use, or, or rather, it's ready to use. You can use it now. Okay, uh, here I'm gonna tap on Cancel. And that's about it. That's how you pair this smart band with the uh, Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video uh, helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.